hi everyone in this video we will customize the react pro sidebar okay you can install that using npm package npm install react pro sidebar so i have already created a video for react pro sidebar so you have the link for that video in the description in this video we will customize that okay for mobile for tablet and for other devices okay click it will show us it will hide uh, for us Okay, in this video we will customize that so let's get started so I have already created the menu okay in this video I will just customize it okay so the first customization that will be how to decrease the width of this uh, menu bar okay side menu bar so let's do it so I have created um, a sidebar dot SCSS file okay and we can customize these variables bg color color width and collapsed width uh, highlight color sub menu and these are the uh, variables that we can customize okay the first one will be the width of uh, sidebar okay this we will just uh, decrease the width of it so uh, to uh, decrease that so i have created a sidebar file okay my name is sidebar that's scss okay I created this file in this file I will just um, decrease the width okay for example 170 and we will import down we will import the uh, below that we will import this file okay from react pro sidebar okay this style that is yes, yes, we will import this so let's see the width of c8 the width had decreased so let's decrease it to 150 see it the width has decreased so we'll just take the increase it to 180 so it was the first uh, customization that we decrease the width the second customization will be that whenever we resize the menu the window so for example after um, below the 400 pixel it should be collapsed okay this side menu bar should collapse okay so let's do this so for that first we should access the width of the window okay the width of the window so i will come to the slide menu so here i will create a variable width set By default fit with as is and then okay empty string and now we will use use effect hook okay use the effect hook we will use that so if you don't know about use effect you have the link in the description for use effect so use effect have two parameter the first one will be a function with us and the second one will be dependency array dependency okay so here we will write uh, window dot uh, add event listener resize get size okay we will call this get size function i will just create this function here get size So here I will call this set width function to set the width set width window dot inner width okay so it will assign the width to this variable the window width to this variable okay now we will come here down if width was lower than for example 400 pixel so then what we should do so then we should create another variable for the collapsing okay to collapse the sidebar so i will create another variable collapse c2 collapse by default it will be false and here we will set that set collapse Okay. Else 
if that was not less than 400 so we will set color labs to false back so now let's try it here so it has a parameter pro sidebar collapsed is equal to collapsed collapse variable which we has created okay this variable and also we should remove the listener return And also in the dependency we should write inner window dot inner width so let's see it how it looks like you will come here see it whenever we minimize the size of uh, our sidebar under 400 so it should collapse okay see it it should collapse it was all about the collapsing so now the second functionality is that uh, whenever uh, we get to below than 400 so it should unhide okay it should be unhided and we should have a button here by clicking that button we should show this sidebar otherwise not okay we will do that functionality now I will just create uh, it is duplex and here I will create another view and here I will call an icon here should I should have an icon okay this icon okay I will have this icon if you don't know how to use the icons so for that also I have I, I have created a video so you have the link for that video in the description so when this icon should be shown to us so okay whenever um, the size of window is less than uh, uh, 400 so we should see this icon on our front end so let's start it so first of all I should have a class here class name and that should be a dynamic class by the name of uh, display I will create the display variable now here const display set display use state so by default it should be nothing okay so whenever the size is less than 400 so we should set set display to display okay it is a class name that we have assigned and if uh, the size is not less than 400 so then we should uh, assign nothing to it and also I wrote uh, the code for this class okay in this uh, CSS file okay the display it sh this class should be display none okay so whenever we assign this uh, class uh, so I should write it here okay so whenever it is lower than 400 so here should be nothing it means that we don't have this class in that time so whenever the size is more than 400 so it should dis uh, assign this class and it should be displayed none so let's first of all see it okay so right now the uh, size of the window is so we should uh, whenever the size is lower than 400 so we see that icon so now let makes it is dynamic okay whenever we get to this point so this uh, sidebar should be height okay so we should see just this icon so to hide the sidebar we have another property for the pro sidebar which is brick point okay for the brick point so for the brick point I will create another variable here const Break point set to break point use t 
update by default it should be false with us so whenever the size of window is lower than 400 so set breakpoint should be true with us otherwise be false so let's try it go for that ternary operator I will use the ternary operator now if a break point was okay so then it should assign for example we have these properties sm otherwise nothing So let's see it now so whenever we get to the SM it should hide for us okay see it it has hide for us due to this breakpoint so now let's see it that whenever we click on this button so it should show the uh, sidebar for us I will assign a property here uh, in event on click Just create a function by the name of breakpoint and I will create this function now. Function break point. And here we should call set breakpoint and we should assign 9 to our variable breakpoint variable. Breakpoint, I think, okay, yes, to this variable so whenever that is true it should change to false if that was false it should change to true let's see it click on this okay we have the sidebar click it is hide it so it was all about the customization of react for throw sidebar if there are other you can follow the documentation for other um, customization so it these were the uh, customization which are very important so if you have liked the video please subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching